Okay, Crystal, you still had your questions about how to get these um, of these logos to line up properly. So let me show you what I built out here. And it's um, actually I have two different ways of doing this. One I think is better, but it's a lot more work. So what we have here is just your standard three column row like I'm pretty sure you had on the site that you had built out. Now, one thing I want you to notice here is how much taller this image is than these two next to it. So these two on the right had a 30 top margin, but this one on the left had to have a minus 20 top margin in order to be able to come close to lining up with these. And truthfully, I should even have it up a little bit higher. And the ones on the bottom here, they're pretty close in height to each other. The IBM is a little bit shorter. And the reason I'm pointing that out to show you here what happens. When we bring this down, we're going to bring this down to 770 pixels. And you'll see the numbers in the right-hand corner up here. That is the breakpoint inside of ClickFunnels to make it go to the mobile view. So as we scroll it down like you had before, all of them stack on top of each other. And that's a built-in function of ClickFunnels. So one way we can override that is we can come into our custom CSS and we can take out what I had commented out here. And what we're saying is because we are in a column D4, which actually means there are three columns in it, because you want to take the number 12 and divide it by three and then you get the number four here is how it works. The width on these are going to be 33.33%. And so if you were to do this with two columns, it would be 50%. Four columns would be 25%. I wouldn't even try it with five or six. And you want to put in that we want to float left, and both of them are important because they need to override the code inside of ClickFunnels. So when we do that and we save and we reload this page, what's going to happen is because we overrode the ability of ClickFunnels to be able to turn this into mobile view, we will keep these all lined up side by side when we go past 770, which was right there. Now we're at 766, and now here we are at 770 plus, and you see they are still lined up. But what's the problem here is you're going to look at this AAA logo right there, and as the images start to size down, and the IBM logo as well, and maybe I still have the wrong top padding on there, top margin, I mean. But you're going to see as they start to size down, the ones with the negative top margin, they want to pull up. And so what you have to do is you basically have to make sure that all your images, when you create them, all have the same height. So let me go back in here. And with the IBM, did I have negative? No, that's a 30 margin and let's see we got them in different rows so this shouldn't be moving i'm not really sure why that one is moving uh let's reload the page again because i originally had that set as a negative 30 because i just copied this element down here so let's try this again so either way you see what the problem is with sizing when they size down the images want to creep up if they're not all exactly the same height so let me just inspect this element real quick because i'm curious um now we got a 30 top margin so not really sure but so that is an issue with that one so let me show you the second way is really a takeoff on what we looked at the other day with using html code and font awesome is that let's uh let's come in here well let's um come into our custom code open up our code editor and I'm gonna just click on this so I can resize the screen, make it a little bit bigger so we can see it a little bit better. And, uh, <clears throat> let's see here. okay. So what we did here, we, let's go down to the bottom. This is what we did with the font awesome stuff the other day in order to build this out with HTML. Well, what I'm doing now is basically copying that but making a few changes in that we're gonna put in images instead of the fonts. So what we have here is we still have our A tag on the top two. We still have our A tag so we can make it a, the image a hyperlink. Now chances are you're not going to make it a hyperlink as I note here. So down here at the bottom is how it would look if they are not hyperlinks. You just have to take out this A tag 
uh, in between here, and it won't make it a hyperlink. And we put in the URL to the image inside of ClickFunnels. And depending on the size and whatnot, this one I set is width of 200, this one at 100. And again, you have to come in and kind of play around with these widths in order to get them to line up and look decent together if you don't make all the logos exactly the same size to begin with. So let me just show you where and how you get these image addresses. And we will kill that. And so let's just pick any one of these image elements. And we come in and we click on this, we come in. And what you want to do is you just right click, you copy image as, and then you cancel out. So if you got like six of them, 10 of them, 12 of them, I would copy them onto um, you know, some sort of um, editor and just make sure there aren't any quote marks in it because that can get messed up. And then you just come in, and there shouldn't be any quotes, but you come back in here, open it up, let's resize this again. And you just come in and you just drop in your, your link right here. And it's not highlighting it for some reason. Come on. Whatever, you drop your, you drop it in right there. And then you're good to go. I put on the top one of each one, I put a little style padding right of 50 pixels in here just to push them apart a little bit, put a little bit of margin at the top of this one here as well. And then we also put in here, you can put it down here as um, text align center. Actually, I don't need this here. Why is this not working? I don't think you need the text align center here. Let's take this out. Because that text align center set up here at the top. So up here, because I have my ID of logos right here, I text align center for everything. And on the ones that have the A tags, I tell it to have no text decoration because I don't want them underlined. And so now let's just click on this and make sure that still aligns properly. And they're still lined up centered. So let's check it. And so once we go to mobile view, we go right there. And you see the images stay perfectly lined up with each other. And you don't have the issues that you have up top. So if you want to make all of your logos pretty much exactly the same size, you can just use this simple way up here at the top. Otherwise, use the HTML code down here at the bottom.